Ian and I are both very open individuals and we say, you know, anything is possible. But when our manager told us that Christina wanted to sing on one of the tracks on Say Something. It's not even something that it, cr that, it that was, was, it was in our... It was really hard to process. It was like, what? One of the songs we were recording for our full-length album uh, was called Say Something. And that was placed in an episode of So You Think You Can Dance. And that kind of spiraled into radio play and epic and this whole thing really happened fast. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Christina heard it and we found out a week ago that she heard it and a week later we're in LA. I'll be the one if you want me to. This song, Say Something, sort of is coming to me at a time when I'm feeling very inspired. Anywhere I would have... When we write songs, you know, they we're the filter for the songs, but they come from this place that's universal that Say everyone has their feet dip into. So simple, and it's so quiet and still and steady, and in a way pleading to hear something, to hear some kind of answer or get an answer in the most humble, unassuming, non-demanding way. We'll stumble and fall. Still learning to love, just starting to crawl. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you. When we wrote the song, we felt so alone writing it. And we, we write for to heal ourselves, but we also write, it's, it's to connect. It's like the human experience. Like we all, we're, we all, we're all in this thing together. And this song and this, this message, we, we feel like we died to kind of write the song and we came back to life. And to be able to share that is like the ultimate like reason to live. And I... I'm only taking on projects that feel good to me. And represent, as always, a, a purpose of the here and now in my life. And that's what this song, Say Something, actually does for me. And I'm saying goodbye.